Hello, citizens of Harford County. I'm here with two master gardeners who are volunteers who serve on the Harford County Forestry Board. We're around, they meet monthly around the Bel Air area. They actually travel all throughout the state, which I think one of them might talk about the tree champion program that they participate in. But Wendy Doring is one of our master gardeners and she's gonna tell them, tell you how do they educate? Cause we're educators of trees. We love trees in Harford County. We have beautiful trees in Harford County and we want to get the word out so that you understand what we're looking for. We're looking for champion big trees and to do that we need outreach and education. We're out and about at Aberdeen Earth Day Festival. We are at Eden Mill Fall Festival and our signature event is the Harford County Farm Fair under the environmental tent and we put on a show and lots of free giveaways and when you say giveaways it's not just handouts. We give away free trees. We give away trees to the Harford County Public School children. We give them away at the farm market. It's a great program. We also work in conjunction with Harford Streams, Harford Land Trust, The Master Gardeners, great program, and we just do so much. Visit us on Facebook at Harford County Forestry Board. Come check us out. Okay, so that's their outreach. Now we've got for you Mike Gallagher. He's going to teach you how to locate the spotted lanternfly and not necessarily how to locate it, but just how to identify it when you do see it in the county. So Mike, what are you going to teach them today? All right, Joyce, thank you very much. We're going to talk to you about how to identify and then report any sightings of the spotted lanternfly. Pest, it's a real threat to agriculture. So you can either, when you find one, in any stage, either eggs, which will come in the fall, or the nymphs, which is uh, right after the fall, um, or the adults, you go ahead and put it to that website we had or that telephone number. So if you come on over here, let me show you here. Here's a picture of a, an adult spotted lanternfly. You see it's about one inch long, a little longer than a cicada. You'll see these black spots here. These are on the front wings of the spotted lanternfly. You come over this way, here's another picture, but this time here again are those same front wings with the black spots, but now you see these beautiful red and black rear wings. And that's really, again, here's the one inch area. Um, that's really the, the telltale sign is all that red and black. Give you an idea about size. Here's a picture of a spotted lanternfly right next to our ladybug. And then again, here's a spotted lanternfly and a little darker wood, along with a collection of ladybugs. Next thing I wanna do is talk to you about the life cycle. And that's gonna be showing you eggs, nymphs, and the adult again. So if you come on over here, here is a collection of spotted lanternfly eggs. The eggs actually are brown, 30 to 50, but it's covered in a waxy coating. And regrettably for this tree, this right here is gypsy moth eggs. Don't worry about that. Uh, but this is going to show you this gray, waxy overcoat. Next then, after, and this is actually in the, um, in the fall, is when the eggs are laid. Uh, after the overwinter, if the nymphs will come out. And you can tell that from this black body, along with the white spots. And that's, an, that's a nymph. Give you an idea about size. We'll be on this photo. You'll see five nymphs, and that's poison ivy. So you, we all know how small poison ivy is, so this can be a real hard thing to find right there. Now, to finish it up, here's, let me show you this. Here's a picture of, here's actually a real live spotted lanternfly, here with all four wings, and then again, one that's closed up like that. So those are the stages, and that's what you're really looking for, for the life cycle. Next, let's come back over here for some activity. One of the things that we really know is that spotted lanternflies love tree of heaven. So Joyce is gonna show you how to identify a tree of heaven, which is so, is a very invasive tree that we would like to get rid of. So Joyce, go ahead. Okay, so here's your tree of heaven. This is actually in seed right now. These are very large leaves. This little Samara, which you're familiar with, helicopters on the maple tree. This is a single little Samara for this seed. And here's what one leaf looks like. Let me tear this off. Trent, you come on up here too. Bring the bugs and hold this too. So here's what the sample looks like. And look, here's one leaf. Many, many leaflets on the leaf. 
That can help you identify, but this looks a lot like a walnut tree, doesn't it? And it looks like some of our sumac trees. So it can be very confusing. Let me show you the detail feature that you're looking for. On this leaf, you're gonna look, zoom in on this and up close. You're gonna zoom in right here. See this little gland and notch on the back of the leaves? And right here, a gland on a notch on the back of the leaf, another gland. So that gland, let me roll them over so you can see the front side of the leaf. That can help you find, identify this tree of heaven as opposed to these other sumacs. So now let's show you the real insect. Look, here he is on my shirt. Is he crawling around? He'll jump. Is he gonna jump? Yeah, though he's a jumper. Let's see if we can, can you see him moving at all? What do you think? Oh, he jumped, he leaped, jump. he was leaping. Mike, you better catch him. We don't want him loose in our in our room yeah, here. Here back. they are, here's some more. Oh, there he is, he jumped. Thank goodness they're indoors. We better cover this up so you can't get to him. But that's what they look like, little black limbs, nymphs. So pretty cool to see. So uh, time to close out. So where do you find these guys? They're hitchhiking on what, so, Mike? So just about anything. So the mobility, as you just saw with that nymph, they jump, they hop. Adults will fly short distances, but the big thing is they're hitchhikers. By hitchhikers, they will go to anything, clothing, automobiles, your tools, certainly any wood or anything else like that. Now, because it's a very dangerous uh, uh, pest to agriculture, really affects uh, not just the trees, but a lot of fruit, grapes, walnuts, a lot of things, and will actually either kill them or mar them terribly. We're, we're in a quarantine. It's, the quarantine is in all of Harford County, as well as all of Cecil County. It's very extensive. It's beyond the scope of uh, this presentation. So for, if you're interested in the quarantine, just go ahead to the Department of Agriculture website for that. The next thing then is the kind of damage that's done to it. If you come on over here, one of the ways of the damage is what they call honeydew. So here's red oak leaves, and you'll see this white, almost powdery kind of activity here. So this is the honeydew that's left by the nymphs. And what that will do is, go to the next question. So what that will do is that creates black sooty mold fungus, which can destroy or mar agriculture and blocks the sunlight, which can really harm the tree. So it actually affects the agriculture as well. So you know what to do for identification and you know who to call. So what to do? Once again, call the Department of Agriculture at this phone number, or go ahead and go to their website. And if you can, get rid of Tree of Heaven. One, it'll get rid of uh, the spotted lanternfly, but two, it's just an invasive tree anyways. So thank you very much. All right, there you go, Master Gardeners. If you see a Tree of Heaven, locate the local extension office and we'll teach you how to dispose of those trees.